called precious. Let me give you an illustration. You know, some persons believe that they are smarter than God. So scientists, not all, but scientists believe that they can outsmart God. Some people believe that they can outsmart God. So there was this man who tried to cheat death. Listen to, the, to, to, listen to the story very carefully. You see, a story is told about, you know, Mr. Death, who it said was in the neighborhood, passing around from house to house, village to village, just checking the pulse of individuals and doing its business what it knows to do best, which is to take lives. So one day, death was in a particular neighborhood and death was doing its business, but death got tired at the end of the night and death decided to retire at an individual's home we will call John. So then he came knocking on the door and said, John, I've worked in your neighborhood and I am tired now. I need a place to rest. So, John was happy to invite death in. He gave death the best meal that he could have given. Placed death in his best room, air-conditioned room, with hot and cold water and the entire works. And at the end of the night, death was satisfied and death went to bed. And lo and behold, John decided to peruse the books that represented death's appointment. And then as he looked at the list, he saw some familiar names and a cross or a line written across them which meant that they were gone. So perhaps he would have seen Miss Estella Joseph with a cross or a line across a name. And as he looked at those names, he realized that the next name after the last cross name is his, John. So John was shocked. John was shocked and John said, Uh-huh. Eh bien, la mort moi do on bagay jodia. Mwe kai kwenon. So John decided to cross his name from where it was and then placed it at the bottom of the list. And John, then John went to bed and John was satisfied. He, he probably dreamt of the outcome and he was happy. So next morning, death got up and thanked John for his hospitality. John was ready to hear the good news. He was ready. And in fact, death was, was ready to depart. So then, John, so then death before he left said to John, John, I want to commend you for your hospitality. I want to commend you for the room that you gave me and so on and so forth. And, so forth. and he went on and on and on to thank John for what he did. And then just before he left, he said, John, do you know that you were next on my list? But because you have been so good to me, because you have given me so much, I have decided that instead of continuing my list from where I stopped, I will begin from the bottom. And when John thought he was escaping death, he ran into his death. You know, the thing is, the moral to the story is this. You cannot cheat death. It does not matter where you are, whether you are in the water, under the water, or on a plane. You just cannot cheat death. The point is, death will catch up with you wherever you are. Therefore, it's important that we prepare for death and prepare well. For the Bible says, in fact, in fact, Jesus himself says in John chapter 5, he says, do not marvel at this, 
for the hour is coming in which all who are in the graves will hear his voice and come forth. Those who have done good to the resurrection of life and those who have done evil to the resurrection of condemnation. So Christ says that there is a day coming when all who have been buried and will be buried will come forth. Some will be resurrected to glory and others will be resurrected to condemnation. It means therefore that there are how many groups among the dead? Help me. There are two groups among the dead. It stands to reason that if there are two groups among the dead, there are also two groups among the living. And there are also two groups seated in this church. Two groups listening to this message this afternoon. Two groups. One group that will meet Jesus when he comes to live and reign with him. And the other group that will receive hell fire. Where do you stand? Are you among those who are preparing to meet the Lord when he comes? Or are you among those who will be fuel for hell's fire? For hell's fire? The Bible makes it clear that while every single individual will die, there is a death that is precious. There is a death that is precious. And that precious death is the death of the saints of God, the death of those who live according to the will of God. How do I know that? Because the Bible says that he is coming to give rewards to those who live for him and who died in him. The Bible says that God is coming to take care of business so that we will not have to die again after he comes. So the Bible says through Paul, and this is, this is what Paul says. Paul says that in 1 Thessalonians, he says, But brethren, I would not have you to be ignorant concerning those who have fallen asleep. That you sorrow not even as others who have no hope. Idi mweflo kopwan dat ki usahili. You can feel sad. You will have pain. But don't mourn like those who have no hope. Because when you live for Christ, and you die in Christ, then you must be resurrected in Christ. And when you are resurrected in Christ, then you live and reign with him forever. Christ says that the death of those who live in him and for him is precious. So Paul says, don't worry. Because the sister... The remains of the sister who's lying there. One of these days, we will see her again. We'll see her again. Therefore, let me just go back to the point I made earlier. Or the question I asked earlier. Therefore, what shall it be for you? Are you still? Those of you who are not living for Christ, are you still going to continue living your life as you please? Or are you going to live for Jesus? Bearing in mind that the Bible says in Galatians chapter 6, Do not be deceived. God is not mocked. For whatsoever a man sows, that he shall also reap. For he who sows to his flesh will of the flesh reap corruption. But he who sows in the spirit will in the spirit reap corruption everlasting life so let me just illustrate that to you you know i i you know i'm the child of farmers my parents were farmers they planted bananas planting and the entire works right so during our vacation especially from school 
we would always go on the banana farm, you know, to help our parents plant bananas, harvest bananas, um, plant dashing, and so on and so forth. I never once saw or witnessed my father plant bananas and reap plantain. I never saw him planted yam and came back and reap dashin. Are you following me? Si vous voulez banane, qui ça vous a planté? Ou a planté banane? Si vous voulez fig, ou a planté fig? Si vous voulez dashin, ou a planté dashin? Therefore, if you want to receive the reward of the righteous, then you must live the life of the righteous. Si you can vive then you will receive the reward for those who live vitivai, which is hell fire. So it does not matter how much education you have. It doesn't matter how fat is your bank account. It does not matter how many houses and vehicles you have in this life. If you are not connected to Jesus, then you will be fuel for hell's fire. The Bible makes it clear that while death is a reality that all of us must face, we can prepare to receive the death that is precious. So I encourage you this morning, to this afternoon, to live for Christ, so that you may die in Christ and be resurrected to live with Christ. So let's go back to Paul again. Paul says, brethren, I would not have you ignorant concerning them who are fallen asleep. That you do not cry, you do not mourn, you do not, you do not cry and sorrow like people who have no hope. For if we believe that Jesus died and rose again... Even them also who sleep in Jesus will God bring with him. If you sleep in Jesus, you will be resurrected in Jesus. Then he says, for this we say unto you by the word of the Lord, that we who are alive and remain unto the coming of the Lord shall not prevent them who have fallen asleep in Jesus. So, même si nous vivons, nous passons du bout de l'action saint bon Dieu, le Jésus qui vient pour point saint. So then he says, For the Lord himself shall descend from heaven with a shout. You see, the resurrection of the saints is so important to the Lord that he won't leave it to any angel. But he said, the Lord himself shall descend from heaven with a shout. With the voice of the archangel and the trumpet of God. And the dead in Christ shall rise first. And he says then, we who are alive and remain shall be caught up together with them to meet the Lord in the air. And so shall we ever be with the Lord. You see, the resurrection of the saints is real. The Bible says that, that at the resurrection, there will be a separation. Those who will receive their white robes and those who will be cast aside to receive hellfire. Those who will live with Jesus and those who will be fueled for the fire and will become chaff. Those who live for Christ and those who live to gratify self. The Bible says, Point de God. Parce que bon Dieu ka vini encore. Pour point hichli en ciel et pis. And if you are not ready, you will be in trouble. Then Paul says, Wherefore comfort one another with those words. So I say to you, to die in Christ. You must live in Christ. To be resurrected in Christ, you must die in Christ. 
So friends of mine, as I bring this message to a close, I want you to know that Jesus has prepared a better place for all those who love and trust in him. John the Revelator, the last apostle who died, was exiled on a small island called Patmos because they wanted to shut him up. In fact, history tells us that they placed John in a barrel of boiling oil and he refused to die. God protected his life. So while he was on Patmos, exiled from every individual, God gave him visions and dreams. And this is what he wrote. He said, and I saw a new heaven and a new earth. For the first heaven and the first earth will pass away and there was no more sea. And I, John, saw the holy city, New Jerusalem, coming down from God out of heaven, prepared as a bride adorned for her husband. And I heard a great voice out of heaven saying, Behold, the tabernacle of God is with men and he will dwell with them and shall be his people and God himself shall be with them and be their God. He said he saw a holy city and he saw God and his people. He saw a worship scene. He saw celebration. He saw singing because the redeemed were there. And then he said in verse 4, And God shall wipe away all tears from their eyes. And there shall be no more death, no more sorrow, no more crying, neither shall there be any more pain, for the former things are passed away. You see, there is a day coming, brethren. There is a day coming, my dear friends. There is a day coming, family members, when death will have no power over us. There is a day coming when the crying, the tears will not flow because there will be no pain to endure. There is a day coming when hospitals would be out of business. A day coming when Rambali, Creeks and Lazarus will no longer be needed because death would not exist. There is a day coming when joy and bliss will be the center of all lives as God will make all things new. You see the songwriter says, Lord, he says, and Lord haste the day when my faith shall be sight, the clouds be rolled back as a scroll. The trump shall resound and the Lord shall descend. Even so, it is well with my soul. How many of you can say today, Lord, I am ready. Lord, I understand that death is inescapable. And I am ready to face death with confidence. Because I know if I die today, I will be resurrected to see you face to face and to live and reign with you forever. If you can say this, then it is all well with you. But if you cannot say yes to this question, then you need to submit your life to Jesus. Give him an opportunity to transform you and to prepare you for the death that is precious. This afternoon, if you want to be prepared for this precious death so that you can live and reign with Jesus when he comes again, I invite you to bow your heads with me as we pray. Father in heaven, we give you thanks and praise, honor and glory for your matchless love. Thank you, dear God, for giving us this wonderful opportunity to be comforted by you even in the midst of death. 
We thank you, dear God, for reminding us that death is not the end. It's just a state of unconsciousness, a, a state of resting as we await our transformation. So we pray to God that you will help us hold on to you with confidence, knowing that if we die in you, this death will be precious and we'll see you again very soon. Bless your people. Bless everyone, dear God, who have decided today to submit their lives to you and to give you an opportunity to bless them so that whatever comes, if death comes knocking at anybody's door today, it will be well with them. Bless your people. To this end, we pray with thanksgiving through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. 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 I would like to invite the witnesses to meet Pastor Miller in the vestry. To my left, your right. All right? So all the witnesses, just proceed to the vestry where you will meet Pastor Anthony Miller to sign the register. And during All right, I invite you to listen to a song as this is done. God bless.
Uh, good afternoon, everyone. Um, I just want to thank everyone for coming. I would like to thank especially invited guests, um, family, and even if you weren't invited, thank you for coming um, to support the family, to support all of us um, in this time of grieving. Um, but I also like to thank Mama for um, all the experiences that she that she gave me and all her grandchildren, all her children, all her friends. Um, I just remember all the times that we used to have together. When I was younger, I used to go by her home with Kyle, with Eliza, with Chaykin, with Tansy, with Katie, with Dre, all her grandchildren. We used to go by her home and just play and just talk and laugh. And I just want to thank Mama for everything, just everything that she's done. And And I thank Mama for my mom as well. Without Mama, I wouldn't be here today. None of us would have been here. All her grandchildren would have been here today. So I thank Mama for that. And thank you guys for coming. Um, refreshments will be served um, by a plow supermarket. And the burial site will be at the Babonu Cemetery. So thank you everyone for coming and I hope you guys have a good Monday. Thank you. We now invite all of you to stand with us. All right, we're, we'll give you a few instructions before we pray. So we're asking all of you to assume your position. Um, the internment will be at the Babono Cemetery. So the service actually ends at the cemetery. So um, after I have prayed, we'll ask you to give us some time, those of us on the platform, to Descend, followed by the pallbearers with the casket. Allow the family members to follow the casket, and then other individuals will follow. Please cooperate with us. Let's bow our heads as we pray. Father in heaven, we thank you so much for the privilege of prayer. Thank you, dear God, that you have comforted your people even in the midst of this death. As we are about to bring the remains of our dear sister, to a final resting place. We ask the God that you will strengthen the family members and be with us so that your name will be honored, praised, and glorified in Jesus' wonderful name we ask. Amen. Amen. All right, we're asking every individual to take along with you every single thing you brought. So if you brought a bottle, you brought... Um, your bags, whatever it is, please ensure that you have them on your way out. Thank you very much.
Attention everybody. Hello. All right. I just in, <coughs> yo, 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 yo. Yeah. All right. I just invite everybody at this time to just bow your heads wherever you are so we may offer a word of prayer to begin this part of the service. Let us pray, Father in heaven. We thank you so much for your goodness towards us. Thank you, dear God, for comforting your people even in the midst of this painful situation. As you're about to lay the remains of our dear sister to a final resting place, we ask that you be with us as we do so in Jesus' name we ask. Amen. 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 <clears throat> All right, the Bible. <clears throat> All right, the Bible says in John chapter 5, verses 28 and 29, Christ says, Marvel not at this. For the hour is coming when all who are in the grave shall hear his voice. They who have done good unto the resurrection of life, and they who have done evil unto the resurrection of damnation. Paul says in 1 Corinthians chapter 3, he says, Behold, I show you a mystery. We shall not all sleep, but we shall all be changed. In a moment, in a twinkling of an eye, at the last trump. For the trumpet shall sound, and the dead shall be raised incorruptible. And this mortal shall have put on immortality, and this corruptible will put on incorruption. And he says, then goes the saying, O death, where is thy sting? O grave, where is thy victory? And now for as much as God in his infinite love and wisdom has committed this our dear sister to fall asleep in Jesus, we do tenderly commit a body to the, to the ground, earth to earth, dust to dust, ashes to ashes, in the sure and certain hope of a joyful resurrection. We look forward to the day when God will put an end to sin and death and will come to take his people so that we all will rejoice as we live and reign with him forever. Let us pray, Father in heaven, it is indeed a privilege to be here today. We just want to thank you, dear God, that even through death, our dear sister still had a testimony to share. We pray that you mark this spot where, her, where, where the remains will be laid, so that on resurrection morning, when you call your sins, you will call her by her name so that she will be resurrected to receive her robe of righteousness. Bless all of us who are here witnessing this today. May dear God, we commit our lives to you so that we too would be part of the first resurrection when you will come to take your people home. Bless us and continue to comfort this family. In Jesus' name we pray with thanksgiving. Amen. 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 God bless you. Let me go ahead. Where's one more walk? Sit down and Where the money go out? Where? Pull up your, 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 pull up Lage, <laughs> Lage, <laughs> 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 <
could tell they were the